Okay, in the spline menu, in the add, we are going to explain round and subdivision both because they act similar to each other but with a different method. Going to, for example, insert a rectangle, make it editable. Uh, going to the point mode, right click and make it round. As you can see, before selecting round, if you select something, it's not act like a chamfer. Right click and round click and drag does not anything for you because it is for whole body of your geometry. It's um, add a point, for example, add a point in between points and add a point and change the topology of your geometry. You can see now, right click it, right click and round. If you select nothing, it means select everything, all points and make it round, click and drag. As you can see, it at a point can reduce or increase or decrease that as you can see. It make your rectangle to, for example, five side, six side, seven side and it's make it point. If you want to be linear, you can change the type of the um, spline to linear. If it is in a linear, it just add a point and maintain your main shape. As you can see, just add a point. <laughs> but if you change your type of spline, it just change it. It change the topology of your spline. This is round. It's act round for whole body. Okay. Another tool is important, for example, when we insert a text and make it editable and go and work that and oh, we turn back and we want to change it. Uh, as you can see, it has a lot, uh, little point here when we want to bend or twist it, we have needs more subdivision here for that. So, for example, if you want to make all your object subdivision. This tool is in a right click subdivision or in a spline, <coughs> add subdivision. Before using the subdivision, we have a uh, setting for that subdivision number here. Two, it means it's uh, make a half a two in between two point, make two segment. Three, it make three segments between two points. For example, this two point, we with a lasso selection, um, <coughs> lasso select those two points and right click and with uh, two or four. Subdivision hit OK. Going to the select, as you can see, we have one, two, three, four <coughs> subdivision segments in between two uh, selected points. Okay, if you select nothing, you select everything, right click, subdivision, you can, if you want to make your subdivision uh, subdivided more segments, increase this number, hit OK, as you can see, your uh, whole shape is maintained, it doesn't any change, and just, we have an add subdivision, and I mean more point in between two points. For example, we have more subdivision here in between two points or here. As you can see, we have uh, two points very close to each other and it cut four segment between them. So we have more point there or we have less point here. Okay, if you want to select, hold shift, select two points and right click and subdivision in between them, just, uh, just strict in two points here and it's very important for example you draw a spline and you have just three points if you want to more point select the spline right click and subdivide it that and you can add more point in between two points so uh, this number is 
how much you want to add a segment in between point three add three segment in between two points or whole object okay this is subdivided tool Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.